Right, hello, good morning. How are you? Hope you're well fed, uh, well suitably caffeinated uh, for the day ahead. Uh, my name is Stephen Evans. I'm the Chief Executive of the National Secular Society. And it's my, my pleasure and my privilege on behalf of everyone at the NSS to welcome you here today. Um, it's great to see so many members again, uh, but even better to see so many new faces. So for those of you not familiar with the work of the NSS, uh, we're an organization that essentially campaigns for a secular approach to public policy making, uh, a clear separation between religion and state, and equal respect for everyone's human rights, so no one is either advantaged or disadvantaged on account of their beliefs. Now, we've been challenging religious privilege since 1866, uh, founded by a man called Charles Bradlaugh, who was a liberal, a radical freethinker, a uh, brilliant lawyer, and he was elected as an MP to the Westminster Parliament in 1880. However, because of his well-known atheism, he was refused the religious oath and denied his seat in Parliament. Now, he had to go on to contest and win four subsequent by-elections before finally being allowed to take his seat, and it was his Oaths Act that enabled non-religious MPs to affirm rather than swear a religious oath and take their rightful place in Parliament. Now, since then, and over the last 150 or so years, we've been uh, at the forefront of a number of other social reforms uh, with regard to birth control, reproductive rights, the liberalization of Sunday trading laws, the development of the Equality Act, and of course the abolition of the blasphemy law in England and Wales. But you know, with religious fundamentalism on the rise, I think our work is as important today as it ever has been. And as an organization, we remain absolutely as committed as ever to working for a secular state that's free and fair for everyone. Now, I just wanted to say a quick word about the the theme of today's conference, uh, Reclaiming Religious Freedom. Now, we decided on this title for today's conference because it seemed to us that many of the things we campaign and advocate for are uh, sometimes described or perceived by some as being an attack on religious freedom. And this is kind of perplexing to us and, and to be honest, really extraordinarily frustrating because we see secularism as something that underpins the rights and freedoms of everyone, irrespective of what they believe. So perhaps this reaction by some to our campaigns uh, highlights a serious misunderstanding, uh, sometimes probably a willful misunderstanding, of the whole concept of religious freedom and human rights. Now, religious freedom belongs to everyone. Uh, the right of individuals to live their uh, their religious values, to, to manifest their religion, it clearly needs to be balanced by other considerations and competing rights, uh, not least the right to freedom from religion. And it seems to us that some people want religious freedom for themselves, but without the fairness. Now, we support freedom and fairness. So, today, we're going to try and unpack this, this tricky but uh, crucial concept of religious freedom, and we've got some of the very best in the business to help guide us through that. Now, before I hand over to Josephine, our Vice President, who has kindly agreed to host today's event, I just want to say once more, on behalf of all of us at the NSS, it is wonderful to see so many of you here. And if you do support the work we do, please do bear in mind that it's all made possible by the support of our members. So if you're not already a member, please do consider joining us and together we can put your principles into action. Right, so thank you everyone. Uh, I hope you all enjoy the day, and without further ado, I'll hand you over to Josephine uh, to get the ball rolling and introduce our first session. Thank you.